Good morning, students. Today's session is on types of decisions and decision making process. How it is important in the management information system, or you can say in an organization also. Decisions are made at all levels of the firm. Some decisions are very common and routine, but exceptionally valuable. Although the value of improving any single one of these decisions may be small, improving hundreds of thousands of these small decisions adds up to a large annual value. In the organization, there are various levels, but and in this each level, the decisions has to be taken. Every level exists with some problems. and to resolve these problems or find out the solution to these problems the appropriate decisions has to be taken so decisions are classified according to the time number 1 unstructured decisions are those in which the decision maker make provide judgment evaluation and insights into the problem definition generally this unstructured type of decisions has to be taken or required to be taken very rarely its frequency is very less second type of decision is known as structured decisions by contrast are repetitive in nature and routine type and decision makers can follow a definite procedure for handling them to be efficient the example is absenteeism of employees in the organization third and important decision type is semi structured decisions they are those in which only part of the problem has a clear cut answer provided by an accepted procedures in general structured decisions are more prevalent at lower organizational levels and unstructured decisions making is more common at higher levels or you can say strategic levels there are different types of decision making at different levels senior executives face many unstructured decision situations such as establishing the firm's 5 or 10 years goals long term goals short term goals also sometimes middle management faces more structured decisions scenarios but their decisions may include unstructured components operational management and rank and file employees tend to make more structured decisions <clears throat> different organizational levels or management levels exist like a topmost level is the senior management middle management and operational managements all these decision types are classified according to these levels under the senior management level or top management level we will find unstructured type of decision has to be taken by these people middle level is familiar with the semi structured type of decisions whereas operational level management has to face the structured type of decisions or they have to take the structured type of decisions because they work today day to day on a routine time and they have to face the routine type of problems for example what type of decisions the structured type structured type of decisions are required to be taken in the operational level for example determine overtime eligibility restock inventory offer credit to customers determining special offers to the customers etc whereas in middle management where the decisions are of semi structured type these are design a marketing plan develop a departmental budget design a new corporate website etc whereas the topmost level strategic level senior management level has to take unstructured uncommon decisions for example decide entrance or exit from the markets approve capital budgets decide long term goals 
there are four different stages in the decision making process as we learn about what are the different types of decisions how they classified according to the levels of the management for basic examples we saw for these three different decision types for with respect to the different levels of the management now we are going to study the decision making process mainly there are four different stages exist in the decision making process number 1 intelligence which consists of identifying and underlying a problem generally organization is scan internally as well as externally and for the defined problem the problem is understood and it is specified specifically to go further second stage is the design stage involves exploring various solutions after the identification of a problem how this problem can be solved effective way the alternatives are formed third stage is choice stage consists of choosing among available solutions once the different alternatives are formed in the design stage it is a stage where you have to select a particular alternative which suits best possible to solve optimize the problem implementation stage is the fourth stage it involves making the chosen alternative work and monitoring how the solution is working the figure 12.2 shows these four stages how they are interlinked okay the intelligence intelligence stage shows problem discovery what is the problem then second stage is the design solution discovery what are the possible alternatives or solutions can be for the identified problem the next stage is the choice stage choosing solutions what are the best solutions and last is the solution testing it is the best working solution can we make it work better that comes to know on the ground realities after implementations although information system supporting decision making can lead to higher return on investments they cannot improve all the different kinds of decision making in the organization or in all managerial roles the classified model of management describes five functions of managers planning organizing coordinating deciding and controlling contemporary behavioral models of management state that the actual behavior of the managers appears to be less systematic more informal and less well organized than the classical model envisions managerial roles fall into three categories which are very crucial to understand the organization one in all the interpersonal roles managers acts as a figureheads leaders license second is informational roles manager act as a nerve center information disseminators and spokespersons third role is decisional role manager acts as entrepreneurs disturbance handlers resource allocators and negotiators in some of these roles information systems are not helpful for improving decisions such as for the roles of figure heads leaders entrepreneurs or disturbance handler in some of these roles information systems are not helpful for improving decisions such as for the roles of figure heads leaders entrepreneurs or disturbance handlers additionally the information technology investments for supporting decisions making may not produce positive results for three main reasons means to say every time the it investments will not be fruitful if the following precautions are not taken the reasons are information quality high quality decisions require high quality information regardless of information systems there are seven dimensions of information quality when designing decision support systems accuracy integrity consistency completeness validity timeliness and accessibility 
even with timely accurate information some managers make bad decisions the second reason is management filters managers filters by turning off information they do not want to hear because it does not conform to their prior conceptions third reason is organizational interia or politics organizations are bureaucracies bureaucracies with limited capabilities and con- competencies for acting dis- decisively when environment change and new business model should be followed strong forces within organization resist making decisions calling for major change so these are the few reasons though the decision making process is perfect information systems are functioning properly but still if this due to these reasons the decision making can become a failure if we take care of these few drawbacks we can overcome up this and it will be proved that the decision making process is a systematic scientific procedure to take a appropriate decision in the various levels of the organizations and by requirement of what type of decisions has to be taken thank you very much